Elkins 5 is proudly presented by Momentum Life, where the sky is not the limit. Flying formation aerobatics demands a control that is taken to the limits of perfection. For each pilot, absolute concentration is essential, as a distraction for even a single second could have disastrous consequences for the entire team. This elite aerobatic team displays precision flying at its best. The control and coordination of the formation, not only at high speeds and low levels, but also within a limited airspace, calls for a high degree of skill and professional attitude, and the team's safety remains the responsibility of the team leader at all times. And by, and by. Flying at speeds of up to 700 kilometers per hour, and as close as a meter from each other while performing complex aerobatic maneuvers, not only requires exceptional flying skills, but also a cool head, a disciplined approach, and the ability to work as a member of the team. The purpose of the Silver Falcon's aerobatic team is to bring the Air Force to the nation through the presentation of precision, close formation aerobatic maneuvers that demonstrate the capabilities of the Impala Mark I and the exacting professional skills that the South African Air Force develops in the men who fly and maintain these aircraft, making them the pride of the nation. Everyone in the Silver Falcons has to put aside their individuality when flying as a member of the team. The reason is not hard to see. The life of each pilot rests so firmly in the hands of the other that there can be no room for individuality. It is therefore not surprising that such a strong sense of comradeship exists amongst the pilots. Criticism, self-criticism, and the desire to continually improve are essential factors that enable the team to present a more polished show at each performance. Being a member of the Falcon team is not all glamour and glory. These pilots are all full-time pilot attack instructors based at 85 Combat Flying School, flying two to three sorties with student pilots each day. As the team enjoys only a part-time status, all practicing is done in their spare time and usually after hours. During a show that lasts approximately 15 minutes, the team will execute 24 maneuvers during their performance, making use of 11 different formation postures, with the formation changing 19 times during a show. The Silver Falcons exhibit the highest degree of professionalism and dedication, and proudly project the image of the South African Air Force. Formation jet aerobatics in the South African Air Force dates back to 1954, when the original display team, known as the Bumbling Bees, operated the de Havilland Vampire jet aircraft. The Bumbling Bees were disbanded in 1959, but reunited in 1966 under the leadership of Colonel Chris Prince, when the flying training school was equipped with the Impala jet trainer. The Silver Falcons gave their first display in 1967 with the original aircraft painted in an overall silver finish. To provide a more colorful appearance, the Silver Falcons changed their livery in 1985 to the then national colors of orange, white, and blue. In line with changes in the country, 
the aircraft once again changed colours in 1993 to be more representative of the South African Air Force. In a topsy-turvy world with wings overlapping at times, there is no room for the glory seeker, the exhibitionist pilot who forgets the danger he puts everyone else in. But there are no glory seekers in the Falcons team. Their whole success has been built on training, practice, and complete confidence in themselves, each other, and the Impala Mark I jet aircraft. Members of the team have been rotated several times since 1967, but nevertheless, a very high standard of formation aerobatics has been maintained throughout. Absolute dedication and the will to fly precise formation aerobatics is what's required to become a member of the team. It requires more than just an average capability. Members of the team have to constantly set a high standard in their flying, always striving to be perfect. Every sortie that has flown produces a new challenge. And although it's almost impossible to stay in perfect formation every time, there is a driving force in each one of the team to constantly improve. Never becoming complacent. Due to the rationalization of the South African Air Force in 1992, 83 Jet Flying School was disbanded and the Silver Falcon's responsibility was allocated to 85 Combat Flying School, based at its new location, Air Force Base Footspray. As a team with only a part-time status, the Silver Falcon's aerobatic team is unique amongst the world's aerobatic teams. All pilots are full-time instructors, and most team practicing is done outside and in addition to normal working activities. During the day, members of the team train young fighter pilots, and Falcon's practice then takes place as a secondary activity. Students that arrive at 85 Combat Flying School already have their wings and are introduced to the new cockpit environment of the Impala in the procedural trainer. The computer-driven simulator allows the instructor to load different profiles for each sortie so that the student is trained in all aspects of emergency procedures before being allowed to continue his training under actual flying conditions. Students are also given tactical air briefing instruction on all aspects of operational procedure flying. Besides simulated armed reconnaissance of specific target areas, students receive instruction on a wide variety of operational duties that include weapons training, tactical navigation, air combat, and search and rescue operations. 85 Combat Flying School operate the Impala Mark I and Mark II in both training and operational roles. Right, show me where the park track is situated. That's correct. The fire warning light. Correct. The pilot attack instructors provide the students with a thorough understanding of fighter training and before each flight are checked on vital procedures before undertaking the sortie. It's here where South Africa's future aces of the sky develop their skills.
Instructors at 85 Combat Flying School all have the opportunity to volunteer for selection into the Silver Falcon's aerobatic team. Members of the Silver Falcons are rotated every two to three years, and each team has the freedom to design and practice its own display sequence for every new display season. Once the new sequence has been thoroughly practiced and every member is fully trained in each maneuver, the team is cleared by the base commander to maintain a high safety standard. The safety of the entire team remains the responsibility of the leader at all times. He plans the execution of all maneuvers, monitors the speeds, ensures terrain clearance, and positions the formation relative to the crowd line. The leader also synchronizes the solo display of the fifth aircraft with the main formation. The responsibility of the rest of the team members is to adhere to the leader's calls and to maintain their specific tight formation posture which is the hallmark of the Silver Falcon's aerobatic team. Since its inception in 1967, the Silver Falcons have always flown a four-ship formation, but in 1988, it was decided to add a fifth member to the team to perform synchronized solo aerobatics. This created a completely new show sequence, providing the team with more flexibility and thereby enhancing the quality of the show, providing greater entertainment value for the spectators. The single Rolls-Royce Viper turbojet allows the Impala Mark I to fly at speeds of up to 830 kilometers per hour, or 450 knots. This two-seater Ab Initio jet trainer was first developed in 1957 and has emerged as the most successful jet training aircraft in its class, still serving numerous air forces on four continents, and has been manufactured under license by several countries. The South African Air Force still remains the largest operator of the Air Mackey MB-326. Constant practice is the watchword of the team, and every maneuver that is executed to form the aerobatic display is backed up by long, tedious hours of practice and an almost fanatical attention to detail. The end result is a formation aerobatic spectacular. Aircraft maintenance is a key factor to ensure the safe deployment of the Silver Falcon's aerobatic team. And the Falcon's technical ground crew take pride in having maintained these 30-year-old aircraft to such a high level of airworthiness and serviceability. All technical personnel are members of 85 Combat Flying School, and the crew's main responsibility is to ensure that all aircraft are serviceable prior to, during, and after deployment. All snag corrections and first-line servicing are carried out by this dedicated team who are each assigned a specific Falcon's aircraft for which they are responsible. Responsibility for the successful presentation of an air display, the keynote of which is the correct positioning of the entire formation in relation to the spectators, rests with the leader of the team. Every practice or show starts with a thorough briefing on exactly what will be done in the sortie. 
thoroughness is one of the reasons why the Silver Falcons is one of the few formation teams in the world which has a safety record to be proud of. Quality, flight safety and discipline are the non-negotiable critical success factors of the Silver Falcons aerobatic team. The attention to detail starts on the flight line, where every pre-flight inspection is carried out in the presence of an aircraft fitter to ensure that there are no problems and that every panel on the aircraft is properly closed and secure. After startup, the ground crew make a final check of the aircraft's control systems before being cleared for the taxi out and takeoff. the aircraft have been brought to the correct weight, the show can begin. This is where real concentration is needed, flying in close formation under heavy G-force maneuvers. Running in from behind the crowd at 200 feet and at 300 knots, they pull up for the big V-loop, which is the highest in the show. After completing the loop in Big V, the formation changes into Manta for a rolling maneuver to the right. Having repositioned the five-ship formation, the team approaches the crowd head-on for the reverse delta loop. The entire team is then positioned directly in front of the crowd to show the lines of the Impala and to demonstrate the exacting skill of close formation aerobatics. After another wing over and maneuvering into the starfighter posture, the team approaches from left to right to execute a clean rolling maneuver in starfighter at 280 knots.
Then it's a bend to the left in Manta with a wing over before positioning for the Mike Whiskey loop with the number five breaking away for the solo display. The number five then enters the show area for a vertical climb, followed by a heart-stopping hammerhead soar. Each one in the team must have absolute trust in the leader. He is the eyes and ears of the formation, and everyone else flies on him. Coming in low and fast, number five pulls up for the start of the square loop. This is a 5G manoeuvre that demands physical stamina and total control. Entering the loop at 300 knots and initially pulling 4G, number 4 flies astern of the leader, with number 2 and 3 flying in the big position on him. Number five is once again in front of the crowd in the inverted position at approximately 100 feet for a slow rolling maneuver. Demonstrating the maneuverability of the Impala Mark II, the number five joins up with the four ship formation to execute the Mike Whiskey Loop. In recognition of a long-standing association with the team, the Silver Falcons complete their show with the momentum break. The Silver Falcons aerobatic team is renowned for the exceptional quality of their shows. This requires absolute dedication and professionalism from each member of the team to maintain the standard. 
With an average of 25 shows per year and many hundreds of shows to their credit, the Silver Falcons have established a special bond of friendship with every display and remain true cockpit ambassadors for the South African Air Force and the nation. Falcons 5 was proudly presented by Momentum Life, where the sky is not the limit.